Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Curvy Chronicles. My name is Courtney and I'm so glad you found your way to my little corner of the internet. It is time for a weekly budget because we are weekly budgeters around here. I do not share my weekly budget every week because um, that would be a lot and we already have a lot of videos going up so I don't think you need more of me but I mean if you do we can always try something. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get started. Y'all, I'm excited. Overtime hit early. Um, and actually, this one isn't even overtime. This is just um, a different union pay is already coming into effect. So we're working with more this week, um, first and foremost. Uh, housekeeping items. I wanted to just say I appreciate you guys all so much for hanging out and watching with me. Um, I feel like I am um, behind on catching up with any of my other friends in the budgeting community. It is also late at night, and I should never do this because my words... I stumble a lot more. Um, that said, I am working on getting caught up. Life has been wild and crazy. Um, we are at the end of school. And yes, my daughter is in preschool and she only goes two days a week. But somehow there still is just so much going on. Um, also with uh, my husband changing job sites, that just <laughs> throws a whole rickety wrench into everything we have going on. So I will be catching up. I will be catching up on comments as well. I'm so sorry, guys. I think I'm like a week maybe two weeks behind. So my apologies. We will be getting there. Um, also, we just hit 1800 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you guys so much. Um, my next giveaway will be at 2000 subscribers. So stay tuned. Um, and then let's get let's actually get into the meat and meat and potatoes of today. So income. We are at May 16th, my sister's birthday. And we are getting 1707.81, which is exciting. 1707.81, fabulous. And that is not um, his full normal out of, um, I call it out of town because he's out of union. That is only for a partial week because he did have to do something in town for one of the days. So, looking good. Now, bills. Bills are, as always, very easy. Um, so, oh, month ahead. I should put month ahead. <laughs> so we are a month ahead on some of our bills. Um, I do have a video <clears throat> that I talk about what we're a month ahead on, how we did it. Um, we are not like any revolutionary story. It was merely luck, planning, and circumstance um, that we were able to do that. But we are a month ahead on all of our major four walls household bills, not everything else. So we do set aside five fifty each week for that. And then because he is out of town, um, this particular union does not pay the appropriate amount for his benefits package. So we have to put aside some extra. So seventy five a week. Um, it's been a while since we've had to do this. If you've been around since the beginning of the year, you know. If you know, you know. Even last year, we were having to do this last fall. So those are our only two bills. Um, and then I do include our long-term savings over here. So long-term savings. And that is getting a 200. Booyah. All right. Let's add that up real quick like. I didn't realize how close I was. Could I do that in my head? Sure, probably could. Do I want to? No, really don't. Really don't want to. Okay, so 825 for bills. What we have left is, oh shite. Eight eighty two. Is that right? Oh, it says it's right. I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, so next up, debt. All right, friends. So we have our STCU card, which is our zero percent transfer. We are just slow and steady. Wins the race on that boy. Hundred dollars a week. Our city card is getting its usual. Wham bam 250. And then with the way things shook out this week, we are doing camper 
what? 125, an extra 125 to the camper, which is so exciting. So that is, okay, we'll do this one in our heads. So 475. Yep, 475. All right, so let's take that from... So that gives us 407 left. And I just am doing my calculator off to the side because, because I can. Okay, we're going to jump over here to our cash envelopes. Um, so we are going to be doing groceries. Cody's spending money. Um, we are going to have eating out because, 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 um, the kids and I are, have a hair appointment and coffee. So we are leaving. So there's going to be a jump cut there. I'm not sure where I left it off at because I just had like the worst coughing fit, like the worst tickle in my throat that just would not go away. Um, okay. We are eating out this week because we are going over to get our hair done. Not 74. What am I doing? 75 for groceries. Cody gets his 30. Those are typical. Those are our huge. Eating out, we're going to do 40 because we're going to do lunch out. And then I'm going to grab a snack um, for dinner. Something small. Because by the time I get done, it'll be like basically dinner time. And then coffee, we're doing 15 for me and the kiddos. So let me add that up real quick like. All right, so 160. And then. Okay, so that gives us 247 for up top here in the sinking funds, which I sounds, sounds roughly about right. So let's fill these in really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, fill them in. All right, friends, not a whole lot going on here. Not a whole lot changing. I feel like my, my, we're blurry. I hope we're not blurry. It's probably because we're so zoomed in. Okay, family fun. Um, Five dollars. I think I'm going to take some money out of here and buy Clayton a um, Strider bike. So we were over at one of my best friend's house today and she has this cute little one for her kids and I didn't think he would like them. Um, turns out he loves it. So I think we're going to get him one. Um, she sent me the link for it and I want to say it was like... <clears throat> $30 at Walmart so we might take that out of family fun because then the kids could ride the bikes together because right now Claire rides her bike um and Clayton just kind of toodles along behind her hoping he can catch up and I'm still dying <coughs> I got a tickle in my throat <clears> throat> okay <clears throat> clothing is getting five date nights getting five per usual we're building date night back up. We don't have anything planned. Pets is getting 30. Chickens is getting five. Garden's getting five. You guys, I'm so excited. I ordered my green stock. Uh, um, I'd been saving for one. Kind of forgot about it. Going to be all totally honest. We planted the garden, which um, a garden tour should be coming soon. Someone asked about that. My One of my last Q&As. Um, but a garden tour will be coming soon. Um, but they had a special for Mother's Day. So not only was it on sale, but I got it in pink. <laughs> I'm so excited. It is the prettiest pale pink. At least the pictures show that. I'll try to insert a picture here. If not, when it comes, obviously I will show you guys. I'm so pumped. I can't even explain. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Gifts is getting five. Anniversary will get five. Um, we have 247. So we're probably going to put two in end of the world, being a little bit presumptuous, but that sounds about right, given how we do our weekly budget. Holidays is still getting 50. Nails and wax. So nails is getting 10. Wax or Nails is 20. Wax is 10. <laughs> I still got to find out when we're going for that. And then challenges are getting 100. I think. Now let's add that up and make sure it, the math maths, right? Right. Well, I'll be darned. The math maths. That's all she wrote. So 247, which would give us a remainder of 160. 
And then down here, huh, you probably couldn't see that, would be a zero. So let's do one final calculation. Also, friends, so um, while I'm doing my little final calculation, my sweet, poor little nail gal, she thought she had the flu. I, I, I messaged her the like day after, just check on her and like, see how she's doing. She, we are friends outside of like her doing my nails. And she ended up, when she went to the ER, ended up having a seizure while she was waiting. They did blood work and a CT scan. Come to find out her appendix was extremely inflamed. And then while she was waiting for a room, it ruptured. So they had to rush her to emergency surgery. And basically, I don't even know. I And that's all she told me. She said she's exhausted, which rightfully so. I mean... I haven't had my appendix out, but I've had my gallbladder out, and I will tell you, I would have five more children before I ever had my gallbladder removed again. Thankfully, there's only one, so I don't have to go through that, but the I had more pain <laughs> from having that removed than I did from birthing my two children, and I did not have a natural birth. I did have, like, I did an epidural with both my kids, but I will tell you, I metabolized my, um, the uh, anesthesia very quickly so I felt both of my children was it a full like would you call it a natural birth no but <laughs> there was some feeling in there so anyway yeah I feel so terrible so these are gonna look kind of ratchet for the next couple weeks till I know um, I'm gonna see if she can either refer me to someone or I might do a set of press-ons because I do have um some fun pictures coming up that I'm doing for my birthday. Um, and I might just do some press ons for those. Um, if she can't get me in, if she's not back up to it, um, that's for, we still have three weeks and that was, it's been over just over a week now. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. I feel, I feel, t I like feel terrible. I'm like, I thought you just had the flu and I'm sitting here like, don't get me sick. No, it was far worse than that. So if you are the praying kind, please keep her in your prayers. Cause <laughs> The poor thing needs them. All right, folks, that's all she wrote. It's a zero base budget. So let me speed you up here. And anyone that's new here, we do just leave our change in the account. So let me flip us over to this. Whoa, zoom you out. Um, I'm going to speed through filling this in, and then I will come back and close her out filling out our sticky note. Alrighty, friends, we done dinner. Uh, 407. That's the most we've stuffed in a while, which is fabulous. Um, for anyone that is new around here, because there are quite a few of you, we are hard and fast weekly budgeters. So we budget our paychecks weekly. Um, we are a single income family of four. My husband is our um, breadwinner, if you will. Uh, he does work out of the home. Um, I have my YouTube channel, which is currently monetized. It doesn't make enough um, to like cover any bills, but it does cover some fun things. So um, we have a good time with that. And my kids are little, so I am staying home with them. I have one that's in part-time preschool. Um, she only goes two half days, and then next year she'll do half days again. And then my youngest is a wild man. He is two. So <clears throat> that is just a little bit about us. But I do post our monthly budgets. Um, I've gotten a lot of new faces from my meal plan Mondays and like my cook with me and stuff. So if you're new around here from those videos, just know that I do post budgeting content along with the semi homemade cooking and what we grocery shop for along with my Costco hauls because those ones are fun. And if you caught the last one you saw, I ripped my damn jeans and I went and bought some more. <laughs> uh, such is life. So <clears throat> any who's, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to stick around for more content, especially Thursday when we actually stuff this into our envelopes, hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you've made it this far in the video, leave me a sparkle emoji my pen I'm thinking of my sparkle emoji pen um so leave me a sparkle emoji and friends until next time
That's all I wrote. That's all she wrote. That's all I got. Remember to spread kindness like glitter. Bye, y'all.